Hey guys. <coughs> All right, wait, redo. Hey guys, so I apologize for the rest of Vlogmas. That was such a fail. The whole thing entirely was a fail because when I first started, I ended up stopping. The reason I didn't carry through with Vlogmas was because I ended up feeling really, really sick days before and then I was actually not feeling well on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and a little bit after Christmas Day, but I'm better now. I tried filming this book haul two days ago, but that actually did not work out. I had too many interruptions and I was just not on my game that day. And I really didn't have anything interesting going on during my days. Is this really distracting you? Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Like a bubble is playing home. I know. Why? Come on. I don't know if I'm gonna be that much on my game today, but I thought I'd just do this haul so I can edit it and put it up. I don't really have much to say. The books that I have here were either purchased before Christmas or during Christmas or after Christmas. The first one was given to me by my mom. Um, I don't know if I'm borrowing it or she gave it to me, but this is The Timekeeper by Mitch Album. Uh, this one is $14.99 paperback and is about that thick. She just told me I had to read it, so I just took it from her, or she gave it to me, whatever. I don't know what it's about. I kind of want to surprise myself. The next book that I purchased after that was World War Z by Max Brooks, and this is The Oral History of the Zombie War. And this was $14.95 paperback and is about that thick. The reason I purchased this book was because I was going to read it for Discovering Modern Fiction, but it was too hard to do the assignments. I've explained this before in one of my other videos. I decided not to continue reading this book because the assignments were too hard to complete, so I just um, switched. The book that I decided to switch to was The Road by Cormac McCarthy, and this book was $15 paperback and is about that thick, and my friend, my closest friend in that class, decided to read this one, so I just switched to this one. I have yet to make a review video for this book, so I'm just going to save my thoughts for it for that review video. Then another book that I bought, and I've also read, but I don't have, is Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosny. And my older cousin's currently borrowing that, but I actually really enjoyed that book. I'm going to do a review. I'll save my thoughts for that one, but I think I give that four or five. I I'm pretty sure it was a four out of five stars. Then the next book I got after that, which I also read, was Out of Play by Nira Dawn and Jolene Perry. This book was a $9.99 paperback and is about that thick. I forgot that I even read this book because I don't remember ever seeing the cover. Yeah, the cover is just, ugh, I hate covers like this. This book is about a guy who is in a band. He's a rock star, and... He is in denial about his drug problem. This is told, I think, from dual points of views. Yes, this is told from two points of views. I could do a review for this book as well and collect my thoughts on it, but for now, that's what you get. It's pretty good. More of a YA romance, not really new adult, I don't think. I wouldn't consider it a new adult. Oh, by the way, almost all of these books that I've shown so far were purchased by my mother, aside from Out of Play. My dad actually bought me that one. That was pretty embarrassing to bring up to the register. Then the next three books that I got were on Black Friday. My older cousin bought them for me, and I'm very, very excited about them. Barnes & Noble surprisingly had a little bit of a deal with Black Friday. These two books I'm just going to show at the same time because they're both by the same author. Uh, this is Unwind, and then I have Unholy, and they're both by Neil Schusterman. And this was $9.99 paperback and is about that thick. Um, so many people said that these books were really good, so I just kind of was convinced to get them. I have no idea what they're about but I'm just going to find out when I decide to pick a book. Then the next book I got was by Rick Yancey, and this is The Fifth Wave, and this book is $18 paperback and is about that thick. And again, I don't know what this book is about, but everyone was saying, oh my god, it's so good, so I just decided to get it. And then these books I received on Christmas. So the first one that I have here is Racing Savannah by... Mar okay, <laughs> sorry about that. What was I saying? This is Racing Savannah by Miranda Kennelly or Keneally. This book is $9.99 paperback and is about this thick. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I have this book. The only book I really liked by her so far is Catching Jordan. I really like that one. I have high hopes for this one. Uh, I don't even know really what it's about, but uh, I don't know. I, I want to have the series and I want to continue reading. Then I got Legend by Marie Lu, and this was $9.99 paperback and is about that thick. Again, I bought this because other people said it was really good so I was like why not get this so I asked for it then these next two I am super 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 excited about and I don't know which one I'm gonna read first I'm probably gonna read Allegiant first so yes I got Allegiant for Christmas by Veronica Roth this book is 1999 paper hardcover sorry where am I today I don't know it's about that thick and I am super 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 excited to read this one. I'm currently re-reading Insurgent. I have not really really started and Kat is gonna kill me because uh she really really wants to read Insurgent so she's not like booking it through Divergent because she knows that I'm gonna take forever 
because I took forever to read Divergent because I just haven't had time. Okay, then this next one I'm super excited about. I might read this one right after I read Divergent, and this is Crash Into You by Katie McGarry, and it's about that thick. It is $17.99. You guys know that I love Dare You Too, and I really, really liked Pushing the Limits. Pushing the Limits is the first one, Dare You Too is the second one, and I, I'm not going to say it, but we all can think it that I'm going to absolutely love this book. But, you know, you never know. And then the last three books were a purchase at the Half Price Bookstore. So the first one is Abundance of Catherines by John Green. This was $4.99, $4.49 at the Half Price Bookstore. And this was originally $9.99 paperback. It's about that thick. And I loved The Fault in Our Stars. Okay, I loved it. I tried reading Looking for Alaska. I got halfway through that book before I lost it. And then I tried reading Paper Towns, and I listened to the audiobook, and I just never finished. It was just so hard. And I kept getting lost at where I was, but I just, I wasn't interested in the book. So I stopped doing that, and now I am going to try to read Abundance of Catherine's. Then this one, I read the back of this, and I thought it sounded really good. This is One Night Changes, One Night That Changes Everything by Lauren Barhold. Again, for no, this one's $4.99 paperback. I just love Lauren Barnfold's books, so I decided to get this. And then the last one, did not even know about. I didn't know it was coming out. I hope it's in my age range. This is $4.99 hardcover and is about that, that thick. And it's, her name's Eliza too. The last book, this one, the girl's name is Eliza, which is funny because my mom actually was also going to name me Eliza, but she decided not to. I enjoyed some of her Gossip Girl series. I um, didn't finish, and then I tried reading the It Girl series, and I like that too, so I'm gonna try this one out. And those are all the books that I bought. Um, well, not that I bought, because you know that I'm on a book buying ban, which that has been a complete fail, because how many book hauls have I had since I said that I'm gonna go on a book buying ban? Ridiculous. So that is it for all of the books that I received over Christmas, and from my parents, and over time. And you never know, I might just break my book buying ban because I have already just gotten a shitload of books, so why not? Hey guys, so if you're wondering why I'm facing this way, it's because this is the only light that I can get because this way you only see half of my face, which is really, really weird. I just wanted to film this quick bit and show you guys the book that I got from Barnes & Noble. Yes, yes, I decided to break my book buying ban because uh, I don't think I'm going to make it to 20 books before I want to buy another one. I did not know this was out. I was actually reading a magazine, and at the very last page of that magazine was an advertisement for this book, which is A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire. She wrote The Beautiful Design disaster and walking disaster books. I read those two books. I reviewed them. I don't know if those reviews are still up, but this is the novella and this is about their wedding. And um, I was like, you know what? I love the book so much. Why not buy them? I wasn't going to buy it at first, but I had already been reading so much of it in Barnes and Noble and I'm further in this than I am an insurgent. Right, Kat? Yeah. She's so. like 14 pages. She is 14 pages into it. Yes. It's like the light shines on you and then it's like no more. <laughs> I hope you guys had a really, really great holiday. I had a great time spending it with this one over here. <laughs> hey, Kat. She and I are supposed to go to Barnes & Noble in a little bit. We're going to go read. We're going to go drink some hot chocolate. I might take my laptop and edit since she's going to bring her laptop and write. You never know. All right. We're going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, 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 really hope you guys had a great holiday. Again, I apologize for not she making videos. Oh my god. She's a terrible uh, person. Yes, I am. <laughs> he stalks you. Hey, Bye! You. Stop! <laughs> Gotta finish this video. <laughs> Again, sorry. Okay, wait. Alright, this is where I'm gonna end the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Love you.